Hello everyone, Shiloh here. Today we're going to talk about some hair care tips and tricks to help you achieve some healthier hair. A lot of you know I'm a registered nurse, so some of this may help the health of your hair also. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn those notifications on for more videos with more tips. All right, first off, we're going to talk about hair care products. When you're using a hair care product, um, or even a supplement on your hair or something like Vegamore that uh, says it could help you grow your hair, give it a chance to work. Try it for like 90 days, maybe three months, um, especially the supplements because they take time to work. Um, and if it's a like a um, collagen supplement or biotin um, or even prenatal vitamins because some people think that works, Use it as directed. If it says take two pills twice a day with food, take two pills twice a day with food, but give it time to work. Don't try it once and say, Psst, this didn't work. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Give it a try, give it time. Now, if you're using hair care products, don't just use it once and go, this doesn't work. Maybe it will work for you the first time and this will be the new miracle. Um, I use lawn hair products and they didn't all work the first time, but I found my groove what products I like, how to use them, and now it works for me. So give it a chance. Maybe it'll work for you. Um, also, when getting your hair cut, they always say trim your hair every six to eight weeks. I'll tell you why. And this is a objective medical and hair issue. Um, I do it and I'm getting my hair to grow. Now, it's called a dusting where you just dust the tips. You don't have to cut it all off. You just dust the tips and what this does is cuts off the split ends now what happens with a split end this is your hair shaft it splits now if we don't trim that split off it breaks and the hair splits higher up and higher up and higher up till your hair shaft has split so high up that your hair is just so damaged that you really do have to chop a bunch of it off so if you cut off those those split ends and get it to the healthy part, your hair is good and it will grow. It grows from the top down because this is all dead. This is not growing. This is growing. So we have to keep the dead part healthy, which sounds like an oxymoron, but it, it's true. So get those trims. Um, when you're washing your hair uh, and you're using warm water, Use cold water at the end to close those shafts to get it sealed. Oh, um, using warm water like on your face or your skin opens pores. Well, it also opens the follicles in the hair. So we want to close them at the end to protect it. So use a cool rinse when you're done washing your hair or just before you get out of the shower. Um, also, when washing your hair, um, you want to wash it uh, only a couple times a week, three to three max because our hair produces natural oils that protect our scalp and our skin. So we want to keep that in there. If we go more than that, we strip it. Um, so if you have really, really oily hair and you have to wash, maybe use a dry shampoo in between and a tip with dry shampoo, blow dry your hair uh, on the cool setting when you're done and it'll get rid of the extra dry shampoo powder and particles left behind. Um, also, when washing your hair, like I said, douse it with cold water, rinse, and repeat. You want to wash your hair twice. The first time gets all the product out of our hair that's been built up, the oils. The second time is going to get all that away, plus clean our scalp. And you want to use your fingertips, not your nails. And we don't want to rub, 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 because our hair is fragile when it's wet, and it will damage it. So we want to give it a light light motion when washing you know grasp it rinse it out we don't want to rub and scrub and use our nails um, just a light massage get the blood flowing that will help and then when blowing dry when blow drying the hair again use a warm setting but then when you're done blow drying at the very end use the cool to close the follicles when you get out of the shower and you put the towel on your head don't twist it up because that twists your hair which could damage it and don't rub rub because that'll also damage your hair damp um, gently 
tap your hair, try to use a microfiber tile, towel, tap so you don't break your hair. Be gentle. Hair is fragile. Like I said, this is not alive, so we have to take care of it. Um, when you sleep at night, I use a silk head wrap. You can find them on Amazon. There's many for long hair and short hair. I sleep with a wrap on my head to protect my hair from friction, and I sleep with on a silk pillowcase. It does make a difference. Um, cotton or linen um, type pillowcases will rub and cause friction and break your hair. Silk or satin keeps it smooth, and it's also great for your face and wrinkles because it lays um, smoothly on your face and doesn't promote wrinkling. Good tips, right, so far? Okay, when uh, blow drying or using heat products, um, heating tools on our hair, try to use a heat shield. Um, this is not sponsored, but I use Lange because that works for me. It's low in alcohol and it seems to really work. Um, find a product that's good for you, but I recommend using a heat shield to protect your hair from heat when styling. Also, if in the winter, especially, there's a lot of static in the air. How I control static, if it's really bad, um, I take a dryer sheet and I just lightly rub it on my hair. I don't go near my scalp because dryer sheets have a lot of chemicals in them. Um, and I don't even use them on our clothing because I don't want that chemical touching our body. Um, but you can lightly, just lightly tap it in your hair and it'll instantly get rid of static electricity. Um, and you know, those are the tips I have for now. I really don't have much more. If I think of others, I will leave another video. I hope these tips helped you. If you have questions or comments, what I'm wearing, makeup, um, products I use, leave them down below and I will try to answer them for you. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And if you did like it, like I said, subscribe, like the video, turn those notifications on, and I will try to upload content regularly. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.